Hello and welcome to the Pet Healer Podcast. This is your host, Dr. Mitzi Vargas, and today we're going to talk about um, a topic inspired by a recent article in the Journal of American uh, Veterinary uh, Medicine Association. It was an article based on, they were, it's a really good clinical um, study on comparison of metronidazole versus a high fiber diet in the treatment of, of colitis. Now, I wasn't surprised by these uh, results because uh, in, at the Chi University, we have uh, some of our um, master degree students uh, do some work similar to this. They compare metronidazole with uh, Gray Caesarea coptis, which is a great herbal that is for uh, acute colitis and is a very cooling herb because acute colitis is just really inflammatory in nature. And it proved beyond a doubt that it was Gray Caesarea coptis was superior, if not the same, you know, but um, I think it depends on how you word the paper. Obviously, there's a superior or, or no less than, you know, so equal to or you know, no less than um, that uh, that medication. So in the uni- university studies, uh, it was a very, a very well uh, documented um, and proven uh, result that Gray Caesarea coptis was more effective. And they didn't go as far as to follow up and check for dysbiosis. But in this other paper, they did. And so what they realize is that they compare metronidazole, which is a very, very common antibiotic use. I use it, um, especially when you rule out everything else, parasites, everything else, um, is used uh, three to five days. Tech, typically here at our practice, we use it three to five days, or we use it for giardia treatment, seven to 10 days. It depends on what the agent is, but in uh, suspected acute colitis without any cause, it, it's, you know, for many years, it's been something that is very typically um, prescribed, just three to five days of uh, metronidazole. But what they found out, they follow up nine and 10 days after the, they have given the medication, what happened, and they, and they checked for um, the, the biome. And so they realized that not only the ones that were treated with metronidazole, um, the the solution of the symptoms were like delay as compared to high fiber. So the comparison here was metronidazole with high fiber. Um, you know, I guess like a gastrointestinal diet. Um, we have usually low fat gastrointestinal diet. That's what we send for pancreatitis and for colitis. Um, but you know, Purina has some EN uh, diet from Purina, and there is all these uh, big major. Um, veterinary prescription diets, they have one that is a bland, uh, easily digestible, usually hmm, varying degrees of fiber, but usually high fiber diets. And they are actually um, probably the best option to try that first because the metronidazole, they looked at it, it was delayed. Again, the results between the just food versus metronidazole, the just food got over it, the colitis quicker and then when they checked the biome there was no dysbiosis and then also very important there were relapses with the metronidazole and so metronidazole uh, would actually cause them to um, have more uh, episodes of colitis because it does cause cause the dysbiosis even though it's not as bad as let's say amoxicillin or or clavonaric acid where it's a kills all, all certain type of bacteria and allows just a very specific other type of bacteria to thrive, it still it causes dysbiosis. And so they had placebo too. This is a, a, a very well done study. It had a placebo, metro, and high fiber. And so basically there was, um, they checked the dysbiosis at seven and 10 days. And so it was um, interesting uh, to see that the outcomes were better with just diet. And so for all my pet lovers out there, for all the vets that are listening to me too, um, sometimes we don't. We need to delay our hand from reaching out to prescribe the antibiotics. Let's try first the psyllium, um, you know, fiber, uh, husk fiber, either adding it to it like um, 
you know, over the counter uh, uh, medications like um, Miralax and things like that versus the diet that is uh, bland, again, um, gastroenteric, um, ID, any of those uh, very prescription diet, the very good prescription diets, we can use that first. And then let's say uh, we do three days on that strict diet. And if it doesn't get better, then we check for anything else that we have missed. And then perhaps then we have to prescribe if we have to prescribe it. But for um, avoiding, you know, for us to just jump to the antibiotics first is wrong. And I'm glad that this is a really, uh, you know, good journal um, is peer reviewed and it has a lot of, um, you know, references on other similar evaluations of metronidazole. And they are even metronidazole against probiotics. And so there's a lot of uh, papers out there just looking at the effect of uh, metronidazole in the, mi- in the microbiome of dogs and just trying to see if it's really, you know, something that we should be even doing. So I just wanted to let people know that Grace as a real cup, this is a wonderful option instead of, instead of metronidazole. So when we pair Grace as a real cup, this with a high fiber, um, low residue kind, easy digestible diet, I think that that's the most um, natural and the uh, optimal way of treating acute colitis. In Chinese medicine, colitis is a byproduct probably of uh, several things, but one of them could be um, liver cheese stagnation. So stress is a main driver of colitis. So being boarded, um, moving, traveling, all of those are uh, causes of liver cheese stagnation. So liver 3, gold butter 41, um, bladder 18, 19, those are nice points that you can use for these pets as well. So when they come to you, my advice would be great sasuria cup this for three days, put them on a low, di- uh, you know, fi- on a high fiber, um, low fat diet, and then just uh, do a couple of acupuncture. And I like B12 in those points because it really just helps you know, it's an inflammatory condition. So the balancing energy would be water, right? From fire is a balancing energy will be water. So I strongly recommend uh, to do that approach and give it a try and see how it goes. Well, I hope you learned something today and I hope that you share it with your friends and hit the notification button so we can be um, here next time and uh, sharing more information. Until then, stay well.